We are standing here in front of the largest stage structure that we've ever built for the draft since we've taken the event on the road back in 2015. Uh, there's still plenty of work that we have to get done, but we feel great as to where we are, um, and we feel that we are on track and on schedule uh, to have everything ready to go uh, starting for Thursday night. So in the days leading up to the draft, my wife and I, we were expecting our third child on Tuesday of draft week. Um, we had spent most of the last month making sure that we had the support at home and in the building in the event that she came, you know, during a, a little bit more of a challenging time. So we got two options. So I tested uh, both of them, speed test. We really owe a thank you to Corey Blessing who handles IT. So we had my own virtual setup in a backpack, um, you know, in the event that you know, something were to were to come up during the weekend. Any other GMs ever done this? I don't know. Maybe he's trying to put me through the two most unique drafts <laughs> yeah. ever. My wife, she went into labor very early on Thursday morning. You know, we went to the to the hospital before seven, um, and then our third child came at eight ten in the morning. So it was a very quick process. She's healthy, happy, you know, all the all the good things and. We were excited to welcome her into the world. Welcome inside the Cleveland, Ohio-based Draft Hall. We are thrilled to be here in person. What's up, Cleveland? How about them brownies, huh? Here we go, brownies. Here we go. Here we go. Look at Joe Thomas. Here we go. How about this night, Cleveland? Let's get this draft started. Well, the last two years have definitely been different <laughs> as far as drafting is concerned. You know, we used to just have the war room like everybody else, and we'd all be in there and be staring at one big draft board and, you know, have a handful of different monitors. But there were some protocols that, uh, that were in place if we wanted to do the draft from a traditional draft room. And we didn't really want to be thinking about all that type of stuff, you know, during the draft. We've got a bigger task at, at hand. So we thought, you know, the best of both worlds was uh, we could we could be in our offices, we could all be together, we could be on a call together the entire time. Ultimately, we just tried to combine the best of both worlds from 2019 previous and 2020. Ultimately, that's how we put together our plan for, for 2021. Yeah. What's up? Perfect. I like it. All right. Good evening, everybody. Um, we're uh, we're picking cornerback Greg Newsom um, out of Northwestern. Ultimately, we had had our eyes on on Newsom here for a while throughout this process, but he checks every box for us. Um, so we're excited. Hey, hey, yo, 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 yo! Quiet, quiet, quiet. Hello. Hey, Greg. This is Megan calling from the Cleveland Browns. How are you? Doing good. How are you doing? Good. Hey, I'm going to connect you here uh, to a Zoom call with our general manager, our head coach, and our ownership group, okay? Yes, yes, ma'am. All right, I'm going to hang up. I'm going to text you the link and then you can jump on, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, no problem. Cleveland. Yeah! Yeah! Zoom. I gotta go to Zoom. Greg, Hello? can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You tired of sitting around? Yes, sir, man. I'm ready to, ready to get it over with. All right, man. Well, listen, we're going to make you a Brown here. Um, you're exactly what we want. Smart, tough, accountable, really talented, great guy. So we're really looking forward to, to making you a Brown tonight. All right? Appreciate, appreciate that, man. Y'all going to get the best player in me every single day. I promise you that. You're not afraid of a little work, are you? Nah, man. You know, that's all I do. I put my head down and I work. You were our pick all along. We're elated to get you. Can't wait to get you down here, and we'll all look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Yep, I, I'll be there. All right, see you tomorrow. Let's go! Let's go! Good job. Oh, appreciate it. Give me a little bit. A little bit. I let the guys know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All done. Yep. Awesome. Feel good about it. Oh yeah. Feel great. 
No more players for Joe. <laughs> He's done. With the 26th pick for the 2021 NFL Draft for the Cleveland Browns, we have Gregory Newsome the second. Greg Newsom's a heck of a player. He's very smart, and they're going to love him here in Cleveland. All right, man. Thanks. Thanks. Great. Yeah. great day yeah. for you. Yeah. Let me give you that. Have a baby and get the play like one of the grass. Huh? That's awesome. Ah, great work, man. Exciting, huh? Oh, my goodness. That's a big time move. Big time. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that'll wrap it up for our live first round coverage of the 2021 NFL Draft. Kudos to all the men and women who worked so hard in the rain to get us on the air and make it look so beautiful tonight. We will see you tomorrow night from Cleveland for night two. Excited? Really excited, man. Ready to get to work. Like, we've been doing Zoom for the last two, three months, so I haven't been able to physically see anybody. And, you know, normally after a pro day or after the combine, I'll be able to come and do some facility visits and coach visits, but, you know, all that was canceled because of COVID. So, you know, I'm super excited to go um, see the coaches today and then go to the Cleveland Cavaliers game later. This is where everybody likes to come to, man. The Cleveland room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is my favorite room. <laughs> Got your jersey hanging there that they'll get that one. Yep. I like that. I can't see it, but I am smiling though. <laughs> a lot of history here. Old school history. Yeah, I need to give me a Jim Brown jersey. Yeah, yeah. And an Ozzie Newsom. Draft picks over the years. Denzel was the uh, coming into a room where there's a lot of proven guys and a lot of guys uh, who can make plays is is a great feeling. Um, and you know, we're just gonna obviously challenge each other, but um, I'm definitely stoked to, to get around those guys and you know, um, learn learn some things from them. Coach Stefanski and Coach Woods, and they preach is just hard work. And that's just something, uh, that's a testament to my character. Like that's that's all I'm about. I'm a hard worker. Uh, I'm gonna put my head down and I'm gonna work and I'm gonna try to outwork everybody every single day. So like, I'm coming into a culture that that is perfect for me. Love your competitive nature. Love the ability for you to play on the ball, off the ball, zone, man, just the inst instincts awareness. Uh, like your aggressiveness coming up and run support. Had some nice clips they showed on, on TV. Yeah, I hit, I'll come up and hit a little yeah. bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Appreciate you, man. How you doing? So Greg Newsome, we felt, was a scheme agnostic corner. What drew us to him as just his well-rounded overall skill set. Um, Particularly, particularly in coverage. As a person, Greg's a really special kid, very precocious, only 20 years old, doesn't turn 21 until later this month, um, but he's very smart, very mature, and we think he fits really our culture perfectly. You have the nice jersey on. You're not gonna be able to wear that one. L little old school. Man. <laughs> Appreciate you, thank, thank you, thank you coach. Today has just been amazing. Um, this is the first sense of me finally feeling like, um, you know, I'm an NFL draft pick. So uh, today has been great, just meeting the coaches for the first time. And then just coming out here and seeing the game is just amazing. Cleveland. That was dope. Man. <laughs> just to see all these fans here to support the cast, but also support me tonight is just amazing. I'm so excited to be in Cleveland. I mean, just even after today, just seeing these fans, so excited for me to be here. I just can't wait. Campbell went, Dickerson, who went? I think Owusu Koromoa still ain't go yet. Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa. Welcome back to Cleveland. Um, this is now with the Cleveland Browns on the clock, and they just traded uh, with Carolina. When Jeremiah looked like he was, you know, when he got past pick 40 and 42 and 44, you know, we knew at that point it was probably time to start start making some calls. And when he got closer to 50, we thought, okay, now we just need someone to say yes. <laughs> He's in the range right now. Or, you know, days ago, we had deemed that this was the acceptable price for us to pay for a player of this caliber. 
if they got to this uh, area in the draft. Um, and, and we were fortunate that at 52, we, you know, we found a trade partner and, and he was still on the board. AB. That's a, that's a big one. All right, here he comes. All right. You guys ready? Yep. Sure, Mike. Can you hear me, man? What's that word? What's hey, on? man. You tired of sitting around? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. We're going to make you a brown here. We're we're super excited to get you, man. Jeremiah, you ready to roll, man? Hey, let's go. You already know. Let's get right. Yes, sir. Hey, we, we love everything you're about. You're going to fit into what we do, and, and we can't wait to get you up here. I can't wait either, man. Appreciate you guys, man. We'll talk. And the draft hall is going nuts. Macho Man Saturdays. Yeah. <laughs> Great job, fellas. I went back and just as we picked and read, yeah. went back and read the reports one more time. Like the explosive, 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 explosive. With the 52nd pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select. Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa, linebacker of the University of Notre Dame. So thrilled. Congratulations, he's coming to Cleveland. We're rolling, boys. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. I will see you all at 2022 when the Cleveland Browns win the Super Bowl. And I'm out. Look out. Anthony, this is Megan calling from the Cleveland Browns. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. Hey, I want to connect you with our general manager, head coach, and our ownership group, okay? All right. Thank you. All right. No problem. Take care. All right. Okay, bye. Bye. Uh, what is it? <laughs> All right, man, we're going to make you a brown here. I need you to bring some of that world-class speed to the dog pound. Can you do that for me? Yes, sir. Thank you. I really appreciate it a lot. I'm ready to become a brown. I'm ready to get this work in. So here we go. The latest Cleveland Brown selection in this place is about to light up. With the 91st pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Anthony Swartz. Why was he back? Oh! Yeah, you sit in there, Joe. Yeah. No soup for you. Please, look how that much folded, yeah. right? Not, not kidding me? To get that guy where we got him? Yeah. That's a good day, too. Oh, man. My man, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Yes, sir. Happy yes, to have sir. you, man. Absolutely. Come on in for me. Likewise, likewise. How was the trip then? That trip was smooth, smooth little ride. <laughs> he was quick too, in and out. Jeremiah Wusu Koromoa, he's the perfect will linebacker in our system. He's fast, explosive, um, aggressive, good cover guy, good blitzer. Ah, uh, I mean. Yes, sir. Well, Congratulations. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glad you're here, man. Yeah. Let's I see you already got your notebook. Oh, <laughs> yeah, some of the meetings are fire. I like it, fire. I like it. Come on, man. Man. <laughs> I read through his report that Coach Tarver did on him. Explosive, explosive, explosive. He kept using that term over and over, and that's what you see on tape. You see a guy that attacks the ball. Very smart player. He wants to understand the whys of everything. So he, he is extremely coachable. So our coaches are ecstatic to get him in the fold and, and get ready to work with him. There he is. Hey man, the man. Right. Congrats, Congrats, man. Himself. What's going on, Coach? How happy you doing? I'm for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy for you, too. Is it? <laughs> is it we all in here. Man. Say again? Is it a blur? Is it a blur, man? I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's a blur. Yeah. Uh, I think it's more clear than, than it is a blur. I like uh, that. Just in terms of the, the plan that you guys have. Yeah. I know that you guys have. Yeah, we do. Yeah. It's a blessing to, to have a, a defense specifically that's uh, you know structured around versatility, structured around uh, playing fast, going to get it. Um, you know, a, a defense that's focused around what the team uh, meaning is, is that, that that dog pound, that action first. Uh, man, I'm grateful to be on this team, and I'm grateful to ultimately uh, get the going. 28, right? Yeah, 28. I need a thin boy, like. I need a thin boy. 
No seams. 28. That's hard. Okay. Let's go 28. 28? Yeah, let's go 28. What's up, man? What's up? Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. It's great to be a Brown. <laughs> Going deep. Got a man out there. Schwartz. Nobody can catch him. Forget about it. Touchdown, Auburn. With Anthony, you know, certainly he has world-class speed, but it's not just enough that world-class speed. It has to be in a manner that's actually playable. And for us, we thought Anthony's ability to separate vertically and his ability to create with the ball in his hands with his speed, that's what has attracted us to him. You know, off the field, he's one of the smartest guys that we interviewed throughout the entire process. He's a guy that we expect um, to be able to handle, you know, multiple spots in the offense that we think has incredible upside. Yo, what's, what's up, up man? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to Thank you. Whirlwind? Anthony Schwartz is, is a really talented football player coming out of a really good program down there in Auburn. Everybody knows he has world-class speed and he uses it and you see it on the football field. We know that there's no limit to where we can line him up and that allows us to move him around the formation and something that we'll see where his role develops because of that. Well, you know, we're really happy to have you and, and I look so forward to working with you. And one of the things that we thought is when we went through the interview process with you is how much we thought you'd fit in here with us. Okay. I'm very excited to work with the receiver room that we have. I feel like we have one of the best rooms in the league, especially with guys like Odell and Jarvis. You can't go wrong with having those two dogs out there. And of course, you got Hollywood as well, who's a great receiver as well. And then, of course, you can't have the great receivers that are having a great quarterback like Baker Mayfield, especially he's a, he's a guy that I watched when he was at Oklahoma. He has that dog mentality to him. He always had that underdog mentality. So I always appreciate a guy like him who's able to dominate the way he does. And then just playing with this town to receive him core, I feel like it's gonna be something very special, something very scary for other teams. Jeremiah, you ready to roll, man? Hey, let's go. You already know. Get right. You wanna work? Yes, sir. Always, coach. Work is a mindset that everyone should have, no matter what. But no matter what you see, you have to work to get better. You got to work to be the best of what you want to be. And so I've been working hard my whole life for this moment, and it's not going to stop here. It's probably going to increase tenfold. I mean, you, you see work and you hear work and you think about action. You think about uh, things being done. These are things that we got to get to, uh, you know, just being a team that is consistently focused on the work and not consistently focused on the words or consistently focused on the outside opinions or consistently focused on the things that are distractions. This team is, is going towards the right direction and I'm looking forward to contribute what I can. Welcome to draft day three. I think it's appropriate to start with a big thank you to the city of Cleveland and every one of the fans here. Hey, James, can you hear me? Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, listen, we're going to make you a brown here. We're, uh, <laughs> we're, we're excited to get you up here to Cleveland. Okay. He's, he's gone. I, I was going to say, they're so excited there, we lost them. <laughs> Hey, y'all, y'all gotta steal. I mean, y'all know that now. Y'all gonna get the best from, from day one. With the 110th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, Cleveland Browns select James Hudson. Tackle Cincinnati. Peter, that plays in perfectly to what they're doing in Cleveland. They are a punch you in the mouth offensive line. Hey, Tommy, this is Megan calling from the Cleveland Browns. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Good. Hey, I want to get you connected on a Zoom call here with our GM, our head coach, and our ownership group, okay? All right. Thank you. Tommy, congrats, yeah. man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's go! Excited to be a Brown. Oh! <laughs> with the 132nd pick of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Tommy Togiai, defensive tackle, the Ohio State University. Tommy Togiai, strong, stout nose tackle who will give us some firmness at the point of attack. Uh, very good with his hands. Very smart, diligent, hardworking guy. Uh, you know, really just kind of like a blue collar spirit. And uh, we think that that's perfect for the D line room. Tony, can you hear us? 
Cox. You uh, you tired of waiting around? Oh, definitely. You know that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make you a Cleveland Brown here. We're excited to get you out here. <laughs> I'm going to assume that means he's fired up. (laughs) With the 153rd pick, the Cleveland Browns select Tony Fields. Linebacker, West Virginia. Hey, Richard, congrats, man. We're going to get your butt up here and you're going to get to work, okay? Yes, sir. The Cleveland Browns select Richard LeCount, defensive back, Georgia. Demetric, how we doing, ma'am? We're going to make you a Cleveland Brown here. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. The Cleveland Browns select Demetric Felton, running back, UCLA. I give a ton of credit to Andrew and his staff. I think they set the draft board after months of discussions and, and work, and then we stayed true to it. We added players that we think fit who we are, and I think this city has so much to offer, and for us to be able to show it to that global audience, I think is pretty cool. All right, it is all over here in Cleveland, Ohio. The Cleveland Browns, the hometown Cleveland Browns, mm. end up getting two first round picks and didn't have to accumulate or give up anything for it. Masterful.